Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Coffee Week is underway in Lexington and the event kicked off Sunday in the city. Two dozen local coffee shops are participating. And joining us this morning to tell us more about it is Jacqueline Benson. Thank you so much for being here. For so we me. have a lot of coffee shops involved in the uh, coffee and Lexington tea. So tell us about that. So this year we have 19 coffee shops over 24 locations. So there's plenty of chances to grab you a $4 featured drink this year. Um, we really try to focus on allowing the baristas to try some new flavors. So there are some unique combinations out there um, that I think are just worth the drive to try something you've never had before. So to help, oh. And that's what it's about. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's about yeah. getting people to, to, to try these new yes. places that they may have never heard of, right? Yes, of course. Like we had four coffee shops, I think maybe even five open just last year since the last coffee week. So that's five new places that you get to go out and try um, and you get to do it at a discounted price, get in there. And then a lot of places people find out that that's their new favorite spot and they revisit. And that's kind of the goal of coffee week is to help support our local coffee shops. The fact that we can have almost 30 in Lexington alone, I think is really amazing. So tell us a little bit more about some of those coffee flavors mm. that people can try. Um, well, we've got some really unique ones. We've got some that are just a twist on a classic. Um, some of the more unique ones, um, Nate's Coffee is doing L8, Nate One, and oh, he is <laughs> oh, that's he is mixing coffee with L8 and a flavor of syrup of your choice. Um, so that one's really cool. Kenwick Table is doing Coca Cola and espresso, affogato. Um, so that's a very interesting combination. The Creatures Cauldron is doing a bourbon barrel latte. Oh. So there are some really fun ones out there that I encourage everybody to look at the list, alexanycoffeeweek.com, and see what sparks sparks their interest. Well, what are some of the shops? You, you mentioned a few of them just then. Yeah. Get, name a few more so that you know it can resonate with people. Yeah, we've got um, Genesis Coffee House and Eatery. Um, I think you're going to be there I a little later, later this morning. That's great. <laughs> um, we've got Third Street Stuff. We've got Lucy Brown Coffee Bar. Um, you're putting me on the spot with all I 19. Know, I, know. <laughs> I wanted all 19. <laughs> I should have made a song to list them all out for you. Right. <laughs> but it's not just coffee, right? We're also doing Correct. some tea. Yes, I know they're not everybody loves coffee as much as coffee lovers, right? Um, and so as somebody that actually didn't used to drink coffee all the time, I wanted to make sure there was something available for non-coffee drinkers like tea. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yeah. Will there be any food added to that? Or so, is it just right now, yeah. just coffee and tea? So just coffee and tea, but I definitely encourage you to try out some of the food available at our coffee shops. We've got local bakeries that are in the shops, so you're not supporting just the shop, you're supporting our local bakeries. And it's kind of, we've got um, Third Street has um, Sorella's Gelato in their coffee this year. So there are multiple ways to support multiple companies with just buying one or two drinks this year, which is really fun. Well, we're going to have to definitely take you up on that offer of yes. $4 for <laughs> coffee and tea because, for you know, sure. some of those major companies, you can't get you no. a $4 coffee or tea right. anywhere. So yeah, thank true. you for that. We truly yeah. appreciate it.